Hey guys, Thorsten here from marketingwiththorsten.com and yesterday I asked the question on Twitter how do people track their links? And as I saw the results I was quite shocked. Because look at yourself, just 17% of the people use any kind of conversion tracking software. But 33% don't track their links at all or use something like Bitly or Google, which is not a tracking solution rather than just a click counter. And another 17% just count their clicks with any kind of, of analytics software. So in this video I want to show you how to install a tracking script and how to know exactly who opted in on your squeeze page, who made the sale and where these uh, from which links these conversions came from. So let's get started. For this let's go to the dashboard of my blog and there I will install a plugin. So I go to plugin and add new. Now because of my connection speed it always can take a little bit so please bear with me. We click on upload plugin, choose the file and here we have WP Conversion Tracker. Open and we say install now. Now this takes a few seconds. Right now it is at about 50% and once this plugin is installed it will offer us to activate it. As soon as this is done we see a blue button and this button says activate plugin. We click it right now and once it is activated we will get a short note on the screen plugin activated. From here we go into the settings menu and choose WP conversion tracker. Now this is more or less a blank screen. I have three pages prepared. The first one is my squeeze page. This is the page where I want to send people to. Then after they use the next step button and opt it in, they will come to a sales page. This is a page where I offer a PDF on how to set up SSL for free on WordPress sites and I sell it currently for $1. And if someone purchases this, they will be presented with a one-time offer. And this one-time offer uh, sells currently for $6.47 and it will be shown to the visitors right after their purchase of the PDF. So let's get started with this. First we take the URL from the squeeze page. With Control c we copy it. And we go back to WP Conversion Tracker and say create new links. It will open a new page where we enter the URL of the page we want to track and we give it a short code, free SSL in this case, and we say add link. Now once this link is added, we will see that all the stats are zero no hits, no conversion, uh, neither for A nor for B. So the next step what we need to do is to take the tracking code and to add it onto our thank you page or the sales page of the PDF and to the OTO page which is the video upsell in this case. So we take the first tracking script, Control c we copy it and we go to our sales page, which is this one. I use Optimize Press, so I open the live editor. And in the live editor, I will add this piece of code into the header of the page. Now, it is quite simple in Optimize Press. I just click Page Settings. And from there I choose other scripts. I say add new into the header section and I paste 
this piece of code, which is now the J track A part of the script. I say update. And once it is confirmed, I will click save and close. Now the same we have to do with the conversion tracking B, which is for the OTO. In this case, again, optimize price and live editor. And once the live editor opens, I will add this short piece of code again in the header section of the page with using page settings and then other scripts. And I will say add new in the header section, paste and update. In other page builders, it is actually similar depending on what you are using, but uh, I'm pretty sure that you know where to put the code in the page builder you are using. Now let's go back to WPage Conversion Tracker, view the links, and let us see if everything works. Now, first of all, uh, here we have the the overview of hits conversion a conversion b and at the end we have our short link now uh, i click on this and to go to the short link will open it in a new window and as you can see it will forward us straight to the squeeze page now if we go back to wp conversion tracker and click f5 to reload the page, we should see that one hit is counted, like here. Now, let us see if conversion A works as well. So for this, I go back to my squeeze page and I opt in. I enter my email address and click to sign up. And I will come automatically to the sales page where I offer the PDF. Now, if everything worked, we can go back to WP Conversion Tracker, click F5 to reload, and we should see here a conversion of 1. And as you can see, the conversion is properly tracked. So far, no sales. So if I would go now through the whole sales process, means I would go to Warrior Plus, I will come back and will have the OTO then uh, also this would fire. We can simulate this in just clicking F5 on the OTO page as if I would come uh, new to this page. And once it is reloaded and we go back to WP Conversion Tracker, click F5 to reload and now we also should see uh, conversion be counted. So now you see, this is how you easily can install a conversion tracking script on your WordPress site. You will find the link to this script either below or above this video. So there is no excuse anymore to use tools like Google or Bitly and not to know where your conversions are coming from and how your links convert. So talk to you soon. Over and out.